Hello everyone, we're going to take a look at making beeswax candles today. Now, if I was to just start making these right from the hive, I would take honeycomb that I have. This is some well-used honeycomb, it's dark. This is some newer stuff, it's not so dark. But anyway, I would probably take and put water into a crock pot, more than that. And then I would just throw all the comb in there, turn it on, melt it down then all the honey or impurities that are in there would settle to the bottom and on the top you'd have a layer of wax that then you would take out. And then you could put it into molds similar to this. These are one pound beeswax molds, that's what I use. And when I want to make candles or whatever, I take one of these, I drop it into a crock pot. I really like to use crock pots. So I just drop it into here and uh, melt it down and we're ready to go. So, I have some wax here all melted and what I'll do is I'm going to pour it into a pot. And I, I like this because then I can keep it heated and it's got a spout on it. And I'm gonna pour it into a can here. I use coconut water cans because they're tall. And I fill it right up, put any remainder back in there to keep it warm. Because you want to keep the wax hot. If you don't keep it hot, then you start running into trouble. So what you can do, starting out, here's a piece of wick. Now, depending on the size of candles you're, you're making, there's different size wicks. This is just kind of an everyday kind of wick. For beeswax, you really the best to use is square braided wick. And I usually use uh, number one. So anyway, I'm dipping it into the hot wax and I'm taking it out. I'm just going to dip it into the water. This is water. This is hot wax. And you'll notice I have them sitting in little things here so it's not hard. You can't knock them over. So anyway, I put that in there and then I kind of hold it until it kind of forms. Notice how it straightens that out. So now we have a nice straight wick. I dip it in. I let it drip. I put it in the cold. Now a few times you're going to have to straighten this back out again. And then you just keep on going in the wax. Don't hold it in there or all the wax will melt off. And then over there. In, out, and over in the other. And again, you want to keep it, keep it straightened out. Now, I'll just kind of skip ahead just a little bit. Here's one that's got a little bit further along. Again, same, same basic process, in and out, in and out. And then you keep doing it. You keep doing it here. This one's a little bit further along. And I want to show you a thing that begins to happen. We'll make that cool it down. You see, the bottom starts coming out like that. It drips off and then it hardens. Well, then you can't get all the way down. So I just take a knife and just clip that off, that wax. And then you start back down again. There we go. And there we go. Just in and out until you get it to be the size that you want it to, to be. I mean, you can go make small ones, birthday candles, or you can make bigger ones. Here's one that I took further along, and I'll just put it down in there one more time, pull it up. This is about the size that I, that I like to get them right there. So that's a hand-dipped beeswax candle. You don't have to have a whole lot of stuff to do that. Now, if you want to, you can get beeswax molds. And here's a mold here. And what I'll do is I'll show you how, well, let's see if I can do this, just a second. Get a glove, wax is hot. And I'm going to pour the wax that we were just using into here. And here's what I would do to create one. I just pour the wax in the mold. Make sure that the wick is centered in the middle. And I let that sit, and pretty soon it's good to go. 
here's one that I just did a little while ago and it's cooled down. So I'll take it out. These are just little makeshift things that I did to hold it up. And here we go. There's a candle right there. Beeswax candle. And I would take and cut this off. I like to use when I cut, I have wire cutters. That's what I use. It just seems to go well. Just clip that thing off the bottom. And there you go. One beeswax candle. That is how you do beeswax candles. Lots of variations, lots of other things to do, but this works.